What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So uh, we did. We just got home, guys. We're going to be going over the brand new patch notes uh, that are going to be going live next week for Diablo 4. And a lot of it is all community based feedback on a bunch of different bugs and things that were introduced i'm gonna try to keep this very short and sweet i know some creators have already posted out videos but i figured i'd go over it and kind of give my thoughts we're only going to hit the bullet points and the things that i found the most important um, which i think is very very interesting like some of the changes that they did make but i do want to highlight one thing yo adam or joe whoever in the dev team please 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 look at the bugs regarding the sork and all the vulnerability damage i've posted and added you guys a couple times just to take a look please a lot of it doesn't seem to be working in the testing so if you guys can just take a closer look at that make the changes make sorks powerful again that would be great with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into this so the main things guys that is like really really nice is the gold cost of master working has been reduced now ranks one to four has been unchanged if you guys do not remember i have a nice little sheet here that has uh kind of my uh like the over that we figured out so it's a hundred uh blues obviously and it's seven hundred fifty thousand in total to level up uh five so ranks five has been reduced and ranks eights have been reduced so before it was roughly 2.8 million in totality to go from four to eight or excuse me yeah four to eight so now they've reduced what two two ranks so the fifth rank is 50,000 less and this so you're saving what 250,000 so now this is 2.55 million so it's a it's a little bit less I mean that's kind of nice I don't know how much the total cost is um, to go up to rank 12 because I haven't I don't have any gear that's that high to do the math for you guys but rank 12 just 12 has been reduced from 10 million to 2.5 I do this is probably going to be significant at the later stages of the game so this is really good um, I think this is going to make it feel a little bit better uh, because gold is already a huge necessity in season four I'm sure the the chat can agree and a lot of you guys uh, in the community can can agree like gold seems to be like a very scarce resource we kind of go through it pretty quick this season which is fine and, it, and it's kind of weird because like we don't go through as much gear now so we're not selling as much and we're not doing as much tree of whispers because we got a lot of other stuff to do which are good things so but we just got to get a happy medium with the gold but i i do think this is going to help in the long run um some other stuff see this is the only change for sork is the surge damage from Sork's enhanced charge bolts was changed, but nothing mentioned about the, the vulnerability issues that I talked about before. And for those who do not know the vulnerability issues, um, it is Storm Swell, the Storm Swell uh, power. The Storm Swell power is bugged. This isn't working correctly. I think we're getting maybe 15% of this or 10. Um, and then of course, uh, Shatter Blades. Shatter Blades is not working at all. Um, not Shattered, excuse me. Uh, it's uh, ice, ice blades, uh, shredding blades. Sorry, this is not working at all. And then in the Paragon board, uh, there's a couple glyphs that are not working. We're still taking them, but frigid fate as well as icy fall or ice fall. These are not applying correctly. We're not getting the full damage from these. So for those who did not know, um, now uh, DT, what's up, baby? Will, what's up? Can I? Joe Klops in the house. Let's go. <laughs> chat chat uh next the next big thing from the the changes that are coming is the scattering prisms this is going to be so much better scattering prisms is a very scarce resource however we like i i don't even know how many i think i have two or one i have two and it makes me very like even this this like blade right like this this twin blade i happen to get the right rolls on it to replace my wand but if I didn't get those rolls and like it was still usable, like I would be very hesitant to put the, the socket in there. So like um, they are increasing these, which is very, very good. So in weird uh, world tiers one and two, you're going to get one and world tiers three, it's two. And then world tier four is three. These are going to come from the world bosses. They're guaranteed now. The goblins are also having a higher chance of dropping them. And then the butcher will always drop a scatter prism. It looks like it's just one on defeat. Um, this should really help when world bosses come around. Getting three a pop on world tier four is pretty good. Uh, this is a good feeling. If you're playing a lot, they do stack up, especially if you're playing like one or two builds. 
Um, th this can stack up a lot. So I think I think this is going to feel much better, much better. Um, uh, outside of that, there's a lot of interfaces and bug fixes that they did do. Guys, I'm not going to highlight too many crazy things, um, but they fixed the bug where the hell tide doesn't is no longer permanent. Where like your your meter just stays full. They fixed that. Um, the pit, they fixed an issue with the some of the bosses. I was really interested to see that there wasn't any real changes to the one-shot mechanics that are in the game for the pit bosses and, like, Nightmare Dungeon bosses. Uh, it didn't seem like they, there was any fix to this, so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, all I can say is, guys, just, you know, do your best on HP and max your reses and armor and try not to get one-shot. I mean, it's kind of it kind of sucks. Um, outside of that, there was two big changes in this. One was the big change of the uh, killing of the Echo of Lilith. Okay, so this this kind of confused people the way it's it's red. It says anyone who has killed uh, Echo of Lilith in any season will receive a Resplendent Spark this season. So I had somebody ask me this about earlier. I believe that this is just a typo, but... This should read, if anyone has killed her this season, as in season four, next week when the patch goes live, you will receive your Resplendent Spark. Because if it's any season, then I killed her at the last three seasons. So the way this reads currently would mean I would get one now, and I have not fought her this season yet. I think that was a typo. It should be for this season. And then, of course, in future seasons, you will have to defeat her again to get another one, which is good. So um, I think this is great. That's good. I, I think it was just worded poorly. Or I could be wrong, and they're, they're just going to give us one from wherever. It doesn't matter. The next big one that they had was the nerf to the barb. There was a huge bash barb nerf that is highlighted in here, but the updated patch notes fixes it and returns it to multiplicative damage as opposed to additive damage. So... Again, man, barbs and necros are just getting everything, man. And now all the other all the other builds and classes are just getting pooped on by the devs. So I don't know what's going to happen. But um, yeah, guys, the, I just want to go over the patch notes really, really quick. I think a lot of these changes are very good. And it's going to help the game feel a little bit better. Um, and then a lot of bug fixes will really help. Uh, but yeah, so overall, I think they're good. Like the video, guys. Let's get this over to 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the patch notes and the changes. Is this what you were expecting or was not expecting in these patch notes with all of the community feedback that we've been giving them with the bugs this season? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.